What's up guys, before this video starts I want to give a huge shout out to Ian Ingram. I'll leave his uh, YouTube channel link in the description. He does a lot of stuff like I do. He's a really talented guy. He, he really likes uh, PVC guns, like tomahawks and um, recurve bows, a lot of archery kind of stuff. And I think it's really cool. I think you guys should check him out. And as luck may have it, on my next video that I'm going to be putting out after this one, uh, is going to be the collaboration him and I are doing. We are both doing a melee and ranged weapon build, and I think that's going to be really awesome. So once again, I'm going to leave his channel link in the description down below, and I really think you guys should check him out. So yeah, let's get this video started. Alright, so if you're a little confused, it's okay. Um, in the last clip, it was just me doing something with the finished um, under under belly of the helmet, the foam part of it that was just covered in duct tape, as you saw, like all patchy duct tape. The actual files of those videos um, got corrupted. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Something got corrupted, went wrong, and messed it up. So what it started with was this template here. I just cut it out of paper. Uh, I'm not going to give you the measurements because it's going to be different for everyone's head, but it kind of looks like this. It has this curved edge here, and then these like rectangles and triangles and then this weird thing. What this does is so that when you put these together, when you close these little spikes right here in the negative space, it makes, it's a little hard to do, to hold together, but it makes half of a head. I traced out this template onto some of this half inch foam that used for like uh, like a flooring and like a workout place or something or Yeah, I've usually, I usually see them at like gyms or something And so I just traced it onto that and then cut it out two times and then just folded it and taped it down at this Like that So and then use the duct tape to hold it in place and then made two of these since I traced it out twice and then put those together It's also really easy to adjust even when the full helmet's done or at least the foam part of it, you can just cut out a little triangle, start like a half inch down and then go up to this point, cut that out and it will, um, the joint will go a little bit more steep and hold down a little better or whatever. And then you can just use duct tape to hold it all together and in that position. So that's what I did and then now the helmet is at this point.
Now I'm going to cut out this piece and that will fit right here and this will compress these sides of this to more of a shape like that. The rivet really doesn't go through very much, so what I need to do is really push this together. So what I'm going to do is, there's this little hole in my table that I drilled uh, a while ago. I think that's like a 516 hole, just straight in the wood, so I'm going to put it right in there. Should be, yeah, it's coming out a lot more. Push down really hard, and I clamp the rivet. There we go. Now I'm going to do the rivets on the sides. Aye. All right, now I'm going to do the head strap. I'm going to be using some leather, and the reason I'm doing it now as opposed to um, finishing the plating and then doing it is because the part where I'm going to connect it hasn't had the plating put on yet, and it's a lot it's a lot easier to put on the plating after you put on the van than to do it the other way. So now I'm going to cut a one inch uh, wide by 16 inch long piece of leather and then I'm going to put holes in either end and then attach it here right above the ears now I'm going to put this on and mark out on the helmet where the band, headband is going to attach. This is the configuration for attaching the headband. Just a rivet, the band, and then a washer. So now I'm just going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Now I'm going to finish the last two plates, this one and this one. And if you really don't know how to do these plates by now, well then, I'm surprised you got this far. Okay, so I finally have all the plating done. Um, now, the next part is completely optional, and but I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to record any of it, because once again, it is optional, and it's just really self-explanatory.
it's putting uh, like strips of metal under and in between two plates so that really nothing can get through. If you're a little confused, um, I'm gonna explain it with my body armor, which is the same exact thing. So these, oh, there's all these aluminum plates, and then you can see that there's strips of metal in between each plate so that really nothing can get through. So I can take like, let me see. I can take, say, these scissors and just, and even if I get in between the plates, there's a strip of metal there to stop it. So there's really no way that something can get through those plates and of course stab me. So I'm gonna do that on the helmet and then I'll get back to you. All right, so now I have this steel mesh. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna cut a small section out of it, probably like Eight inches by eight inches. I'm gonna try using tin snips. I don't. If that doesn't work, I, mean, I don't know why it wouldn't. I'll just switch to the angle grinder. Now I'm going to roughly cut it to the eye hole in the mask. I drew out the uh, outline on the front of the mask, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out, but with about three quarters of an inch all around the sides, so that I'll be able to rivet it to the inside of the mask. I actually just thought of a great idea. So I'm taking this little bit of wire, and most of the impact that's going to this mesh is going to take is directly on, so I don't know how well Steve's uh, rivets are going to uh, hold it on if they're just riveted through the foam. So what I'm going to do is take this metal wire, put it through the holes, and tightly bind it around some of the extrusions on the mask, i.e. the rivets sticking out. Now that the helmet is finished, let's see how this will go up against a bunch of my weapons and probably some milk jugs or something. I don't know.